in this demonstration followed by the lecture we will understand the podman how to install podman and how to get started with podman in fact uh, by default podman is 90% uh, uh, of the time the podman is already installed uh, installed but in my case you can see that is not installed right now so to install it uh, i have to execute this command uh, dnf module install container tools and container management tools so this container monitoring conman hyphen y and you don't have to start any daemon you are good to go once these tools are installed it is that simple podman command will be available the moment these packages are installed so dnf module install container tools and conman hyphen y will confirm it and after that the command will be available so we are starting the lecture by the time when we finish the lecture i am sure this installation would be uh, by that time it will be finished so let's start see it is installing all these packages in fact it's uh, not taking much time so let's do the demo first the installation is coming so simply the best thing is simply type podman don't type anything else it will show you all the possible commands you see so many commands are available so when you type podman you will see the commands podman options then the command attach build commit container cp create diff exec export these commands are actually all the commands which podman can take so for example if i type podman info which will be required for us i want uh, the status of all my containers what are con what all containers are running what all images i have it is uh, the command is absolutely similar to the docker command output is also similar you see when i type podman info it is giving the host details the architecture of my host machine the control group manager system d control group version the conman package the that is the uh, the package which is being used here and the version and uh, important point is what all machines i have that also you can see what all host uh, this is the host name then uh, later on you will find the images also and the cpu also all, all the containers which are running so this give, will give you the overall picture of your system the version the store uh, registries uh, and the network the plugins you see it gives you complete information about your system as far as the, the uh, containers are running so if i want to run hello world i can use podman run hello hyphen world if the image is available locally it will pull that and if it is not available uh, locally it will pull it from the quai.io hello world latest image and then it will run the container based on this image and this is how it is this is getting started with podman so i could have separately run the command podman pull hello world if it is private uh, if it is public repository if uh, the repository is private then uh, there is another way to do it we have to use the login command also so uh, that we will discuss separately because we will be learning to how to push my own images to this uh, registry or for that matter any other registry so we'll be working for the entire day uh, rest of the day we'll be spending on images containers and that management after we uh, finish this installation part and this is the first part of this lecture let's start the uh, lecture this is session 2 podman installation which you have seen installing podman on linux understanding installation of podman on mac and windows some podman commands installing podman you can simply start with the dnf install hyphen y podman but if you want to, uh, to install the other related tools also which we will require in kubernetes then you have to follow the lab so this is the simplest possible installation dnf install hyphen y podman if you are using on mac or windows and you want to install it it run on linux mac and windows also our focus is on linux machine because we need to have same environment and everybody should have same linux 8 
and then install podman and then kubernetes and then manage containers on kubernetes so to have the same environment we are following linux throughout the training linux oracle linux 8 to be precise it provides a native podman cli and embeds a guest linux systems to launch your containers this guest is referred to as a podman machine and this is managed with the podman machine command podman on mac and windows also listen to listen for docker api clients supporting direct usage of the docker based tools and programmatic access from your language of choice podman machine is backed by kimu uh, that is a quick emulator q for quick emu for emulator based virtual machine once the once installed the podman command can be run directly from the unix shell in terminal where it remotely communicate with the podman service running in the virtual vm for mac podman is provided through home brew once you have set up the brew you can use the brew install command to install podman brew install podman next create start your first podman machine like podman machine in it and podman machine start installation on windows on windows each podman machine is backed by virtualized windows system for linux that is wsl version 2 distribution once installed the podman command can be run directly from your windows powershell or cmd prompt where it remotely communicate with the podman running podman service running in wsl environment alternatively you can uh, access Podman directly from the WSL instance if you prefer a Linux prompt and Linux tooling. Using Podman, traditional Docker commands will work exactly same way. So you can create even the alias if you are familiar with Docker and you want to continue using Docker as a command line. You can simply create an alias uh, for the Podman and the alias name if it is a docker you can continue using the same command because all the same parameters remain the same so remember the alias create alias podman or containers so this is the command i demonstrated after my installation was finished podman podman info this is for system wide information i use this command also to show you the details podman info then working with podman containers podman containers are run from the images by default if you noticed it was not pulling the images from docker hub it was pulling the images from quai.io which is actually the re registry managed and hosted by red hat it also support docker hub for using images anybody can quai that is build analyze distribute images on quai.io which we will see in our training we will be creating images will be uploading to quai.io and we will be pulling it to run containers based on that image to check whether you can access and download from uh, images from quai.io not podman hub uh, from quai.io you can run uh, podman run hello world which i have tried and demonstrated and was successfully running and this is the screen grab of same thing that was the purpose I told you in the morning that I will be first demonstrating and then discuss so that you will connect that yes the same thing was demonstrated by Ram. So let's run a MySQL container from container registry.oracle.com because Oracle has also its own registry and you have containers you have images available on Oracle container registry for tools and for uh, applications which are managed by oracle so you first have to use podman login to log into your oracle account you have to use your oracle single sign on so use your oracle single sign on method to provide your user id and password once logged in you will get login succeeded and once you are logged in then it will be easy so I logged in with my account, personal account, ram.nivas at tseedu.com 
and I got this message. This command is similar to Docker login. So let's run this. So uh, then I can run the command podman pull container registry dot oracle dot com mysql mysql uh, community server latest or podman pull mysql community server latest podman run now this will pull the image from the registry to your system after you have pulled the image you can run that container based on the image so podman run name of your container in detached mode which means d and then the image name and this is the same screenshot so podman pull mysql community server and you see the registry was given here container registry dot oracle dot com mysql and this is what was pulled so it will it is pulling the images and then uh, you can this is a command to run the container based on this image and this is will going this is going to be the name of the container if you don't give this name it will provide a, you know a random name for your pod i mean the container initialization of the container will begin the container appears in the list of running container when you run the command podman ps command so this is the command similar to docker ps podman ps so container id image command created and status hyphen d which i demonstrated that is used in the podman run command to make the container run in the background if you don't provide this hyphen d it will take your terminal and it will not release the terminal you, you have to terminate the pod terminate the container in order to get the terminal back by pressing control c Otherwise, you have to minimize it and open another terminal window to work on it. Use the command to monitor the output from the container. So, podman logs. So, podman ps command. You can see here podman ps and podman logs and con uh, you know, container name. And these are the logs you can see here. And in the same logs, podman logs mysql1. You can use this command to grab the generated root password. So this is the root password to log into a MySQL container which is running inside the podman. So you can use podman execute hyphen it command to start a MySQL client inside the container you have started like this. Podman execute interactive terminal that is it mysql1 and the command you want to run inside the container mysql hyphen u root hyphen p and the password which you grabbed in the previous command that is podman logs so see here podman execute hyphen it mysql container name command and then i pasted the command here this one this is a prompt to paste the password i pasted this selection here and i got the mysql prompt now i can change the password of the root user like alter user root at localhost identified by this is a new password now onward i can log into the new user with the new user with the new password if you want to get the shell access meaning you want to get uh, inside the container that is also possible to have the shell access to your mysql server container you can use podman execute it command to start a bash shell so podman execute hyphen it mysql1 bash this will give you a shell prompt this is what i executed all the screenshots are included to give you confirmation that everything will work as expected provided you follow the right steps to stop the mysql container you can use podman stop mysql1 to start mysql server container again you can run the command podman start mysql1 to stop and start again you can do the same thing using restart command to delete the container you first need to stop it 
and then run command podman rm so podman stop podman rm so these are the commands which you have seen in the slide and the screen grab stop start restart stop and remove to view all the containers active and inactive you can use hyphen a switch podman ps hyphen a to view the latest container you created you can use hyphen l switch podman ps hyphen l and stopping and running an uh, active container is as simple as uh, stop with a container id this is the cleanup you will be doing most of the time so take note of the slide number because these are the two commands which i will be requesting again and again to clean up your system you stop all the containers you run all the uh, uh, remove all the containers you uh, podman there's a typo here podman uh, see the all images and remove all the images the cleanup will be mandatory to keep the space free and we will be doing it uh, multiple times these three command command 1 2 and 3 will be used frequently let me explain these commands slowly the first thing in this command what you see here is podman ps hyphen a hyphen q when you say hyphen a hyphen q means you just want the container ids nothing else and when you use this uh, list command a dollar command with the uh, parentheses it will pass these parameters one by one to this command stop so it will become podman stop 1 podman step 2 podman step 3 podman stop 4 podman stop 5 if these are the names of these images all right and the uh, containers then similarly we are passing these remove remove podman remove process this container id 1 container id 2 3 4 so you are removing all the containers and similarly you are removing images podman rmi means remove hyphen f podman images hyphen a hyphen q when you use podman images hyphen a hyphen q it will give you the only the image ids the image ids which you are passing to the podman rmi command with force so this will clean up the system which is a very very important slide because you will be using the commands from this slide take note of it creating and managing volumes is quite easy unlike a bind mount you can create and manage volumes in outside the scope of any container so you first create it like separately podman volume create my volume listing volumes podman podman volume ls so this is how i executed the command similarly inspect podman volume inspect my volume and remove the volume podman volume remove my volume some resource control commands as demanded by the delegates many times uh, ram how can i restrict my machine to have specific ram specific cpu how can i control that these are the commands when you are running the con con you know containers with limited resources with restricted resources we can specify the parameter memory or cpu or cpu shares so podman run hyphen it memory 1 gb memory 1 gb memory swap 2 gb and the image name so cpu 1 cpu cpu share 700 not even one you want to share the 700% or 700 uh, uh, this part of the cpu so these are resource control commands that's all for this session thank you very much